Good morning, all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we all this morning? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Praise God. Nice morning. Praise Thank God. the Lord for a beautiful Praise morning. Praise God. Praise God. A great day ahead. Beautiful. Let us begin our day in our prayer. In the name of God the Father, merciful and kind and compassionate. In the name of Jesus, our ever-loving Savior, who is ready to run to us at the first opportunity he gets to our aid, to be with us in good times and in difficult times. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, our advocate, our guide, the scepter of the King of Kings. Thank you, Father, for blessing us with this opportunity to come together to praise and thank you, to offer our worship, to be in your presence, to be with you, to talk to you, and to hear from you. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with another lease of life. Show us all the mistakes. Show us all the dark corners in our lives, Lord. And help us overcome those so that as we move through this day, all old things are past and everything is made new in your presence and through your mercy. Show us the mysteries of our life, Lord, the deep secrets. Search our hearts, search our souls. So that everything that is not of you in there be identified and be removed in the name. <clears throat> we thank you, Father, for the beauty of nature, for the love of family and friends, for the care and concern that we experience in our social circles. Teach us, Lord, how to pray in brokenness. For all the times that pride has got us, we ask for mercy, for forgiveness. For all the times we have failed to recognize the power in the surrendered prayer to you. We ask for that forgiveness, Lord. For the times we have turned away from you, Turned down your voice, rejected your advice and instruction. We have had to face the challenging consequence. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your intervention in every such situation in every life around us, Lord. For everyone that does not hear your voice. For everyone that refuses to hear us. Help us to still our hearts. That in that stillness, in that silence, where every other noise of busyness, every other noise of activity in our life is quieted so that we might hear only your voice and bless us with that discernment to know that it comes from you. We pray this morning for everyone that suffers in this chaos of not knowing you, not being able to hear your voice, not being able to see the light, continuing to live in darkness, some oblivious to what the darkness holds for them, some knowing that there is a light somewhere, but not being able to see it or reach it. 
we also pray for evangelization. Your light bearers, Lord. The ones that go out with boldness. Boldness that can only come from the Holy Spirit. So that these light bearers might reach out to every single soul in darkness. Illuminating the path to salvation. Opening their eyes to your presence. Introducing you to them. Carrying your presence, Lord. Help each one of us be those light bearers to your people. For that is what we were called for. As Christians, that is what our mission in life is. To be Christ to others. Guide our thoughts, our words, and you lead our every action, Lord. And as we pray this morning, we also raise up to your altar every cry of hopelessness in the dark, of everyone that wants to come to you. That they may be reached through one of your messengers. That the gap between them and your presence, Lord, no matter how far deep they've fallen, that gap be bridged through this channel of faith, through this messenger that stands in the gap. And your mercy reach to each one lying in this abyss that we all might be raised up through your grace, Lord. We know not what difficulties they face. We know not what challenges they go through. Some life-threatening as well. And so we pray in the language that you, Holy Spirit, have given us. Your gift to us. The mystery of being able to pray in the language that you have given us. So that you hear us through an encrypted channel. And you renew the face of the earth. That each of these, our brothers and sisters, be saved. We also take a few moments now to remember our personal intentions. All the ones that we would like to pray for. Our friends. Our relatives, our family members, those that are sick, for those that are suffering, and for those that need deliverance from all kinds of habits. Let us pray for each of these as we now raise out our tongues to the Father. Hallelujah. Lala, 
Thank you, Lord, for giving us this hotline connected directly to you. We are able to raise our voice up to you, to heaven. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. Let your kingdom come in our lives and in our lives of all those around us. Your will be done, Father. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus, we surrender our lives to you. We want to belong to you in totality. We want to say in confidence, you are our all in all. Every part, every corner of us that is not yours. Let that be removed from us, Father. For it is profitable for us to be incomplete in the flesh. And yet be made whole spiritually. Be united with Jesus spiritually. For where the spirit of Jesus is, there there is liberty. The Lord has shown me this vision and it's like I'm looking down from above. It's like a, a rat trap, but it's a human trap. 
and it's being lifted and people are running out. And the Lord gave me a scripture in Isaiah 10, 27. On that day, his burden shall be taken from your shoulder and his yoke shattered from your neck. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This morning, I was inspired by the scripture from 1 Corinthians 12, 33. If anyone is hungry, he should eat at home so that your meetings may not result in judgment. That was very challenging to me. In other words, St. Paul is saying to us, before you go out and preach, make peace in your home first with your loved ones, with your dear ones. Eat at home and then come out. Amen, Jesus. This morning as we were praying, I saw a vision of an Door, I saw the the lock of the door and I'm unable to interpret this vision. Two different visions, one of an eagle and one of a door, especially the lock on the door. The eagle could represent the spirit soaring higher and higher in the presence of the Lord. So it is when we are in the Lord's presence, our spirits are soared to a greater extent, just like the eagle soars higher and higher. And it's only then, when we are in the spirit, that we can open the door, we can open the way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have a small <clears throat> testimony to give what happened to me yesterday. So last evening when I was talking to a friend of mine, explaining to her about our prayer group, it so happened, I, uh, I started talking about the I Confess Boldly. And before that, I had gone for physio, so I had there was a lot of pain in my shoulder. And while I was telling her about how powerful the scriptures are and how we use it in our everyday life, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, you are explaining to her about the scriptures. At the same time, you're telling her that you've got pain in your shoulder. Have you used the scripture? And at once I stopped the conversation and loud and clear I said, I'm the body of Christ. Satan and pain has no place and no power in me. And within seconds, the pain went. And today I can actually raise my hand and there's absolutely no pain. So the Praise power of the scriptures that we read on Friday, the I confess boldly, we have to make it a part of our life and use it against the enemy. Thank you. Amen. 
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I was also reading about uh, the life of St. Philip Neri, whose feast day is celebrated today. And uh, one of the things Philip Neri did as a young fellow was uh, he always went in the streets of Rome begging for arms for little children to help them out. So on one fine morning, as he was doing the same thing, a man slapped him across the face. Philip fell to the ground. He woke up and he said to the man, that was for me. But now, how about something for the little children? It inspired me of Christian living. We give until it hurts. Amen, Jesus. Thank you. I'll just read a scripture. Um, in connection with Janetta's vision. Isaiah 40, verse 31. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And Russell, yeah. that confirms the scripture I got too. Yeah. So we had very similar visions. Thank you, Jesus. Peace of the Lord and His wisdom and guidance and His fortification. The hedge of His blood protecting you through this day. Be with each one. And let that joy in your hearts that you carry through this radiate out to everyone around you. So that we move around as living walking testimonies to the presence and the love of Jesus this day. Be blessed and be a blessing to everyone. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Russell. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Russell. 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 Thank you, Russell.